As global warming ignites thousands of California forests, homes, and cities into an apocalyptic inferno and causes glaciers to melt from the Arctic to Antarctica, greenhouse gases during the summer warms the melting water that flows from the glaciers into the world's oceans, creating catastrophic hurricanes and typhoons. While sociopathic CEOs, bankers, and petrochemical corporate shareholders continue to drill for more oil, specifically in Long Beach's last saltwater Los Cerritos wetlands, along the Newport Inglewood earthquake fault line, with the blessings, no less, of the Long Beach City Council. A small but dedicated group of local activists held a demonstration on October 21st against the suicidal project on Pacific Coast Highway and 2nd Street, next to the Los Cerritos wetlands, at the site where there will be over 50 new oil wells. Protect Our Los Cerritos Wetlands demonstration was held by a feisty, steadfast fighter for social justice, Anna Christensen. Not only is the city rezoning the area to allow for more density, high rises, which herons can't fly through, but also a, lo a oil company, Beach Oil Mineral Partners, plans to drill for 200 million barrels of oil across the street in these wetlands. They're, they are presenting themselves as saving the wetlands. That's why I'm holding this sign. Save the wetlands, drill for oil. And a lot of people believe them. They believe that we can drill our way to a greener wetlands. But we are not going for it, especially because the, lo uh, the Newport Inglewood fault line runs right through these wetlands. And their new drilling operations will actually expand, not consolidate. They will have diagonal high pressure water injection drilling, pushing water down to blast oil off rocks, and then pushing leftover water back down to fill in the land before it can sink. It's that second part that has caused so many earthquakes in Oklahoma. But basically, we don't think it's fair to burden the planet with 200 million more barrels of oil just to get a fake restoration plan for our wetlands or to own 100 acres. Yeah, they'll give us 100 acres. What condition will it be in by the time we get it? We have no idea because their restoration plan it has been so alarmed Audubon, our local Audubon chapter, that their biologist calls it uh, uh, nothing more than protecting their berm from sea rise. We don't think they're in the business of restoration. We think they're in the business of making money for drilling for oil. So this area not, is not only the last of a very huge ancient wetlands, it's the last best salt marsh in Southern California, and it is also home to many, many Native American sites and home to the Tiat Society, which is a traditional uh, Native American group of Tongva people that have rebuilt their, the Tiat, the traditional canoe. They ply these waters. Recreational boaters ply these waters. Our children swim in these waters. One oil spell will pollute not only the wetlands, but Alaminas Bay and beyond. One earthquake could cause Belmont Shore to fall. We really don't know. We don't know the consequences. We don't think it's a good deal. We don't want to trade, you know, with an oil company. They're not a good, they're not a good partner. We want to restore the wetlands. We think we can do it without the help of beach oil mineral partners. We don't, we don't think it's fair. They're greenwashing. They call their, themselves a restoration. They're holding open houses today, taking everybody on a tour. Uh, people are swallowing it. People are drinking it, they're drinking the Kool-Aid, but you can't drink, you can drink the Beach Oil Mineral Partners Kool-Aid, but you can't drink oil. So let's protect our wetlands and let's, let's get at the truth of this matter. Come to the Long Beach Planning Commission on Thursday, November the 30th at 4.30 p.m. at the Long Beach City Council Chambers, 333 West Ocean Boulevard, Long Beach, California. Tell them not to allow Beach Oil Mineral Company from degrading the Los Cerritos wetlands with over 120 new oil wells around a fault line. Say no to oil spill risk, groundwater depletion, and ignoring indigenous input. Los Cerritos Wetlands Oil Consolidation and Restoration Project is a greenwash that will create daily emissions from 1,100 cars, adding to deadly climate change.